And a goals galore at the camp now between Sevilla and Barcelona. Perhaps not surprisingly, the 4-2 scoreline was not the headline of the game. Instead, Liam Messi's injury and Mark Andre Ter Spider-Man, as Ray Hudson dubbed him, who made some insane saves throughout the game, were the headlines. So let's talk about that. Right, so being 2-0 up and half an hour of game time approaching, Messi collided with Sevilla's Franco Vasquez and awkwardly fell to the floor and in the process hurt his right shoulder. Now throughout the game after that injury, many estimates and many injuries were mentioned, some said weeks, some said months, and ultimately he'll be out for 3 weeks with an injury on his right arm. With the games against Inter Milan and the Clasico coming up, Valverde will have some decisions to make. Luis Suarez, in my opinion, had a really good game against Sevilla, and he got a fully deserved goal when he converted that penalty, and I really wouldn't mind him starting in both games coming up this week. Now that being said, the wings in the midfield, that's where Valverde needs to be confident and needs to actually risk. Even Rakitic would offer us nothing in those games that Vidal wouldn't be able to offer better, and yes Rakitic scored a stunner against Sevilla, but he didn't exactly have a great game. He might have been better than Busquets, arguably, but I even doubt he'd get better against Inter or in the Clasico. So here's my proposition. Busquets, Arturo and Arthur in midfield, put Coutinho out on the wing, Dembele on the right so he can gain some confidence, and put Malcolm through the middle. He's played there for Bordeaux and he can play there for Barcelona, I have no doubts about that at all. But he's a very versatile player when we're going forward, he's a goal scoring winger when he's on the wing, so I really don't think we'd have any troubles playing him through the center. If Valverde really wants Suarez, Malcolm could probably slot into that right wing, Dembele on the left, Suarez up front, and that would put Coutinho in the midfield. And here's the thing, I don't want Rakitic to start, because he offers nothing that the other midfielders wouldn't offer. So here's what we could do if we're not going to put in Rakitic. Either we could play Arturo as a defensive midfielder and rest Busquets, he hasn't been in top form lately so he needs a rest, even though arguably those are very important games for the season, but if he really wants to rest him, Arturo can play that position, as can Arthur who played in that position in a double pivot with Gremio back in Brazil. That way we'd be able to put Arturo and Coutinho a bit further up the pitch as midfielders if Arthur was to slide into that DM position, or vice versa if Arturo was in that DM position. We have so many options and I just really hope Valverde will make the right decisions here, but knowing Valverde, he'd put Rakitic in midfield over Arturo any day. As long as it means more quality time with Rakitic's nanny, Valverde is happy. Nelson Semedo should also start in both games over Sergio Roberto. You guys know I'm all for La Masia, and yes Sergio is a La Masia product. But Semedo was so good against Sevilla. He had the most successful amount of passes, most successful amount of dribbles, and he had the most balls recovered. He just needs consistent playing time, and he can be starter quality for us both defensively and offensively. I have no doubts about that at all. So in conclusion, yes, I do think he should start over Sergi in both those games. So yeah, guys, that was my piece on it. I hope you enjoyed this video, although I know it was pretty short. I've got some other types of videos coming soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. Smash a like if you enjoyed, and drop a comment down below. Let me know if you agreed with my points, if you disagree, who do you want to see starting in those games? Who do you want to see playing? Let me know down below. Comment down below. Also, follow me on Twitter if you don't already. Follow Kule Source too. We post stats and quizzes and news and all of that and more. So make sure to follow us. Both links will be in the description. And on that note, I hope you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next one. Then Instagram out.